Will is Wiz Air. And today Wiz Air announced a subscription service. This is interesting. It's been tried before elsewhere, but not with great success, but it's been tried before. It's called Multipass. Customers will pay a monthly fee. Uh, you have to have six months, and the routes include domestic routes in Italy and international tour from Poland. Will it work? Why is he doing it? Joseph Valerie is the CEO of Wiz Air. Joe's with me now. Uh, why this one? I mean, what, are you short of passengers or something? No, actually, we are long on passengers. Uh, we have a lot more demand than what we actually can satisfy. Uh, but we believe that uh, loyalty matters, and we have a lot of customers that are very loyal to our uh, Wiz, and we want to be loyal to those customers. And we are so low cost in our operations that actually we can afford to offer like a metro pass to these people. It's been a difficult year, but are you now profitable and are you uh, are continuing to grow? Yes, we are profitable and we are growing 70% versus pre-pandemic capacity, 7-0. But if you compare it to the uh, European uh, airline capacity, it's expected to be 95% this summer. We're going to be 170%. Right, but are you going to be expect? Are you going to be hit this summer by the same sort of air traffic control problem? Well, you will be hit by them. I mean, there's a lot of anger over, for example, striking controllers in France. No single European skies. The difficulties are flying around the continent. I think the operating environment will be difficult. I, I don't know whether it's going to be as difficult as last summer, but it's going to be difficult. But we are a lot better prepared this time around than last year. I think we learned our lessons last summer. We invested $100 million into resilience uh, to improve our operating model, to build more buffers, more spares, more slacks in the system. You know, if we are suffering some delays that we still can complete the schedule, we don't have to cancel flights. You're growing east way, eastbound, aren't you? I mean, Abu Dhabi. Further, how far afield can you take those 321s? Well, first of all, I think the business model that we have is very genuine and universal versus customer needs. Everyone wants to fly safe, cheap, hassle free, uh, quickly. And I think this is what we are bringing to the market, whether you are in Europe, in Central and Eastern Europe, or you are in India or Abu Dhabi. We can fly six hours at the moment, but as of next year, we will start taking deliveries of the XLR, Airbus AC21 XLR aircraft, that takes us to eight hours. Right. Where's your goal? Come on. I've known you for too long. You've got a vision in mind that you want to fly to there or there. And you're not going to fly to the States. We won't. So where are you going to fly to? Where are you going to put those XLRs? Well, I mean, look India? at... India? Yeah, no, look at, look at our um, footprint at the moment. So we are having an airline in London. We are having an airline in Abu Dhabi but we cannot fly Abu Dhabi, London. I mean, that would be probably the most obvious route to, uh, uh, to, to come off it. But inside our region, I mean, this large geography, we have a lot of dots to join. Lots of dots still to join. Who is your biggest competitor? Who's the one you fear most? Is it Johan at EasyJet, Michael at Ryanair, Carlson at uh, Lufthansa Group? Well, I mean, All I, of them? Well, look, I mean, most of our business actually is to stimulate the franchise of flying. Most of our business is to get people into flying. I mean, let's not forget that Central and East Europe, going further east, is not Western Europe. So this is not a, uh, uh, an already a crowded market. We are trying to get people into the franchise. You know, as people have more money to, to spend, they can afford to fly. And that's the service that we do. We stimulate the market. Right. Are you going to suffer from a, sh a shortage of planes? I mean, we, we, you've, got, you've got what you're hoping to get to 500. Yeah, so we have 180 planes flying at the moment, and we have 360 on order. You're not going to get them on? No, not, we will. No, 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 we will. On we time? Will. No, but I don't know. I mean, uh, uh, the, the, the issue is not in my hand. I mean, this is uh, down to the OEMs, to, to Airbus. Right. Uh, but um, this is 360 aircraft on order. We have access to that capacity. And this is important also because not only that it's more capacity, but it is the most economic capacity, and this is the most sustainable capacity that we can get. Joe's never let me forget that after the first interview, the week, the day that Wiz launched, the very day, the the very day. day that yes. it launched, I, um, I said to you, thank you very much, Joe, for coming on the program. Do come back next year, or do we after, if you're still in business. And you've never let me forget, 20 years on, uh, you're still in business. I'm still standing next to you. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I actually quite like that you are still in business. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling I've just been nice somewhere in that. Good to see you. Thank you.